We are underway here at Mill Farmers. Nick Horton smashes the ball upfield, looking for the flick on from Gold on Mateo, but it's picked up by Grimes, and he'll look to try and feed Will Grigg early on. It's picked up by Obi, flicked up into the path of Nick Horton, up against the number five, Grimes, the captain for Chesterfield, and it's out for a throw-in early on for Fylde. Trying to push them high into making a mistake, and try and catch them on the break here Jackson an, an interesting start a little bit of a, a chess match between the two sides I was literally just about to say exactly the same thing great yeah. minds think alike aye well Chesterfield seemed to to sprint as soon as the ball seems to I'll let you take ball over the top looking for Ryan Colclough the number 11 he's got Mandeville Grigg and Dobra in the box if you can find him Colclough with the shot deflected at the near post and it'll go behind for a corner to the visitors but just showing them the the threat that Ryan Colclough has down that, that, that right hand side, he got the better of Luke Conlon, he had a couple of options inside the box, decided to go it alone and the shot was well charged down by Pierce Bird in the end and they've got a corner to defend now, Mandeville with the corner to Chesterfield, put in towards a six yard box, headed away by Gold on Mateo, only as far as Brandon Horton for Chesterfield, now to the number 28 Ollie Banks, Banks with the ball towards the back post looking for Grimes and it's well, it's stabbed in at the far post by Tyrone Williams for Chesterfield. The Coasters couldn't deal with the ball towards the back post. It was headed across, and there was Williams to stab it home from a couple of yards out. And with five minutes on the clock, Chesterfield lead here at Mill Farm by a goal to nil. Yeah, it was just a, a lofted ball into the box, wasn't it? Headed back across the goal, and it was a, a tap-in in the end from the goal scorer. Um, it, it was avoidable from Fylde, in my opinion. The Chesterfield fans have just launched a, a pyrotechnic onto the pitch that's grey and blue smoke. But uh, we could have asked for a little bit better than that inside six minutes, Jack. Chesterfield fans go in, get a bit raucous now. It's Whitehead picks it up, though. Gold on Mateo. Flicked it onto the path of Whitehead, but it's intercepted by Grimes, only as far as Luke Conlon. Conlon finding Charman on the left-hand side. He tries the shot at the near post but it's covered well by Harry Tyre, figure of Mandeville it's covered though by Danny Whitehead Whitehead is forced into making a call, plays it only as far as Naylor though, who picks it up for Chesterfield, down this left hand side up against Whitehead and Josh Kay Colclough manages to turn Harry Davis on the edge of the box, it's going to be a free kick for Chesterfield he just turned his man too easily there, the former Wigan and crew man and uh, it's a really dangerous situation this now for yeah. the visitors, Jack. Looks as though it's going to be Mandeville to take it. Bends it over and it's well over in the end. It's a poor effort from Liam Mandeville. Just never really got up and over, did he? Just uh, got too much on it and it's always rising over the bar. Luckily for Theo Richardson and Essex. Davis clips the ball up towards Gold on the tail. Really well headed into the path of four. Takes it past Ollie Banks. Now for Danny Philiskirk. Philiskirk across from Podman. First time ball looking into the six yard box. And it's cleared behind by Grimes under pressure. It's, has it stayed in there, Jack? It's just about gone out now for the corner. But positive play there again from Fylde. Really good link up play, particularly between Gold on the tail and Nick Horton. Three time equaliser last week from a corner. Much like this, no Alex Whitmore in the starting line this, e this afternoon, though, as Horton puts it in, looking for Davis, it's flicked over and actually kept on that far side by on Mateo. First time ball from Phyllis Kirk to the edge of the box for Davis. Shot from Whitehead, it's a really good save by Harry Tyra, but probably the clearest chance that Fylde have made inside these first 19 minutes. A really good save there from Harry Tyra, the effort from Danny Whitehead on the edge of the box just stinging the tips of the Loney from Everton but another corner for Fylde. He made his debut way back in 2015 in an FA Trophy tie against Warrington Town as Horton and Omateo combine well again. Horton now 25 yards from goal. Lays it off to Luke Conlon. First time shot across the face of goal and it's put behind by Williams but Fylde showing again their threat as they play it from right to left and I wouldn't have blamed Horton if he'd have gone for goal himself there, but it looked like Conlon was the better option. Let's be honest, Jack, we've seen him score a few beauties here at Mill Farm over the years. As that was said, a very tall wall there with Banks and uh, Jamie Grimes in there. Not what they do. Horton steps up over the wall. Horton the bar. Tremendous strike as Kay keeps it alive for fouls. Headed on by a coaster's player and so close wow. to 
a stunning equaliser Jack there we said it was a little bit central he managed to pick his corner and another couple of inches below and it would have ended up in the back of the net there that would have been a stunning equaliser manages to turn well and keep possession under pressure across the Philly skirt now to Conlon got Charman in front of him plays the ball through to the coasters number nine turns and plays it back to Pierce Bird Bird deflection has come off the referee and now it's fallen nicely for Mandeville come inside his own half now looking for Armando Dobro up against Amy Karobi Hay is covering well and in the end it's played back to Horton for Chesterfield across for Ollie Banks Banks looking for Mandeville now for Horton again ball over the top for Armando Dobber inside the box here looking for Mandeville and it's 10 0 Chesterfield doubled their lead and it was far too easy for the Spyrites Dobber and Mandeville given the freedom of the coasters penalty area and it was the number seven Mandeville who just controlled finish into that bottom left corner and after 36 minutes it's 5 0 Chesterfield 2 on the pitch at the moment and that's you know pretty obvious to everyone in the ground Horton takes the throw in short to Dobra now for Mandeville across for Sheckleford Sheckleford up against Luke Conlon checks his run finds Tom Naylor back to Banks he's gonna go for the first time effort it's a low shot and blocked easily though as Horton gives it to K down the right hand side takes a touch and in the end is just play back to the goalkeeper and it's gonna be an easy tapping for Walter Craig to make it 3-0 and it's an absolute disaster between Kay and Richardson. What on earth went on there, Jack Ekman? How do you try and sum that one up? Rig prepares to get the game back underway and does so. Gives it to Ollie Banks, who will just clip it over to that far side looking for Cole Clough, but it's cleared by the coasters. And now they'll bring it forward with Omateo. Links up with. Horton now gives it straight to Josh K down the right hand side. It's a good recovering challenge from Brandon Horton, but a positive side, a positive start straight away for Fylde. It's with Omateo back to Josh K on the right hand side. K with the ball in, looking for the number three. Conlon, and it's over the bar in the end from Harry Tyra. I'm not too sure what happened there. There, Tyra wasn't convincing at all. Sheckleford. Sheckleford to Banks, now to Palmer, across for Grimes, who are just happy to play it across the defence and uh, under no real pressure from the coasters in terms of pressing as Whitehead makes a mistake and now Cole Clough is away for Chesterfield, up against Phil Richardson and it's 4-0 Chesterfield here at Mill Farm, again far too easy mistake in the midfield from Danny Whitehead trailing clearance from Luke Conlon couldn't quite find the coasters number three and it was Ryan Colclough one on one with Theo Richardson and he buried it into that left corner game possession Banks with the long ball up towards Dobra but this time Obi manages to head it clear up towards Tom Walker Walker looking for white shirts up there in the box Tries to find Omateo, but instead goes short to the captain, Phyllis Kirk. Now across for Whitehead to Charman. Charman to Ustabashi. Ustabashi first time ball towards the back post. Horton tries to clear it. It's forward only for Files, Nick Horton. Charman now on the edge of the box. Goes to the shot at the near post and in the end just wide. And Tyra sees it behind Sheckleford for Naylor. It's challenged from Whitehead and now Charman brings it forward. Charman plays it to Ustabashi down the left. A chance for Fylde to come forward now. Charman is level with the man. It's Ustabashi. Better pass Tyra. And Fylde do have a consolation goal here with 15 minutes to go. And it's an opening goal on his Mill Farm debut for Johnny Ustabashi, Jack. Yeah, wonderful finish, wasn't it, Jack? Yeah, he burst down the left-hand side. He had so much time and space to drive into the box. I think he started off about on halfway line. He got all the way into the box and blasted the ball past Tyra of his right foot. It was a great finish. And Fylde have one back. Side. Whitehead lost it in towards the edge of the box there for Obi with the header and it's just seen wide and it was destined to fall into that far post and just 
just headed wide at the last second. I didn't quite see where it came off there. Yeah, it looked in the end. I think it might have been Ollie Banks in the end. Yeah. Whitehead clips it towards the back post, looking for Davis. He's just it into the back of the net. For two here. Davis at the back post. It's 4 2 here at Mill Farm. Harry Davis, header at the back post. We've got a lot to talk about, at least, in the, the debriefing. Ball up from Banks, looking for Quigley. Quigley turns Davis, but brings it now away and brought behind, or pulled back by Harry Davis. It'll be a free kick for Chesterfield. Still a crowd as well. Yeah, it's second yellow, is it? Red card for Harry Davis, Jack, and I'll be honest, I didn't see really what for. There was the second well, whistle. The second yellow, yeah, second back yellow for bringing back Joe Quigley into the second game in succession. Foul will end with ten men. 